my name is Mary Lou Areño and welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So for today's episode, I am going to continue the series on how to apply for a job in the United States without spending a lot of money. So I hope the first series was useful and this is the continuation. We learned what kind of visa you can use to come in the United States and for this episode, I am going to show you where to look for job vacancies. So, if this is your first time watching my video, please um, click the thumbs up button if you find the information useful. And if you can also subscribe to my channel. And uh, feel free to ask questions along the way. Just write them on the comment button or... Uh, email me at the teachers best friend at gmail.com so let us begin with a ser series two which is uh, know where to look for job vacancies but before that i just wanted to emphasize that teachers best friend channel is not a recruitment agency nor a legal counsel all the information provided are based on knowledge personal experience and research but if there are more questions that uh, you will ask and um, I need more answer to it I can also consult my own legal immigration uh, counsel so uh, let's begin so working in the United States so we have to move to job searching which is the series two, the house of looking for jobs in the United States so the first uh, website that I can share with you, it's called the usajobs.gov and uh, I will show you the details in the website. Let's start the search. Let me go to the usajobs.gov. Okay, so this is the website of the, if you see on top, https www.usajobs.gov so this is the main website on uh, how to look for the job in the United States but notice that uh, this is a public website it says there if you're a US citizen or national you can apply to jobs that are open to public so don't be discouraged if you read that because here, if you go down to the eligibility, it says you're eligible as long as you are a U.S. citizen or national. But sometimes a non-U.S. citizen is eligible too. And that is true to all the jobs in the United States. Hiring U.S. citizen first is a law. So you will find that in any institution, in any companies, in any corporation. Their priorities, of course, are U.S. citizens. But what if there are no qualified for that position? Or there are other people that have exciting qualifications? And those are more often than not are the non-U.S. citizens are eligible too. So just uh, send your application and don't be discouraged even if you are not a US citizen because you might be the person that they are looking for so look at that you can read go to the website usajobs.gov and read the details and this is how you search for a job so let's try let's say you are going to look for an engineering job let's see so engineering and um, I'll just click search without uh, looking or putting the specific city or state and let's see what will come out so there there are so many jobs that you can um, find in in the website USA that gob so from engineering technician to um, a lot of positions there is a civil engineer and so on so what you would like to uh, know here is uh, 
if you click the job let's say this one it will lead you to another website and um, it will show you when did they open the position and until when are they closing the application so if you see here the position was opened in July of 2020 so that was long ago already and up to now they haven't filled up the position so it means they are they are really having a hard time looking for the job so just just submit your application and uh, it says there apply so if you click that you can submit your application and um, at times when you go to this website they will tell you what are the duties and responsibilities needed for the job the requirements and the conditions for employment the qualifications they're here and your education how will you be evaluated and the required documents so they, they, they are all here and then there are also some tips so uh, you can explore the website and uh, try to look for the position that you are looking for and you can submit your application online okay so this is the first website that I am sharing with you the usajobs.gov and then let's move to the other website which is also a, a huge um, how do you call that a wide scope they call it the Bureau of Indian Education this is um, a department where all Native Americans are uh, kind of belong in terms of the education so there, there are two types of um, like public schools here one is the public school which is the general public school these are like the federal public schools or the state's public school and this one is the Bureau of Indian Education where tribally controlled schools fall on this um, in this um, institution the Bureau of Indian Education so let's explore their website so look at the tabs there's the about us the schools audience performance career and uh, student support so if you click schools you will see all the schools that are uh, covered by the Bureau of Indian Education and then if you click careers it will show you the careers that are available so we are already on the under page of uh, and it's it's the same thing like in the USA um, jobs that go it says there you can apply if you're you are a US citizen for the Bureau of Indian Education they say that uh, the priorities or the first preference are the Native Americans or they call it the Indian preference so it's always like that if there are qualified Native Americans so they will be they will uh, take the first preference and then if there are no uh, available for that position then they will move to the non Indian so and so on and so forth so the same thing don't be discouraged if you see that reminder just submit your application and uh, fill out the application let's see it for the position of teachers let's click it this is in Tuba City Arizona let's click the teacher in science position so if you click that it will bring you to this website again because it's linked to the usajobs.gov but um, look at the Tuba City it uh, says there the location of the job for the teaching position and um, it says the duties and responsibilities the travel required and all those uh, conditions for employment the qualifications for the education so everything is explained and even the pay level okay so if you are 
going to submit your applications they will give you a link on how to apply whether you will email this person he is the one in charge at the school in Tuba City and um, if you submit your application it will go straight to this email and they will evaluate your application and they will email you back for interview or for any other things if if they need more credentials or documents from you okay so this is the website for the Bureau of Indian Education which is also linked to the USA.gov so another website that I would like to show you is uh, the website in the state of Arizona so it says here Arizona Department of Education I will just show you the state of Arizona but if you would like to search for other states it's the same thing you can just say New York State Education Department California State um, Education Department something like that and they, they will lead you to their website of their education department if you are applying for a teacher then if you're applying for other positions I can also uh, show you and give you the copies of websites that you can try later okay so let's explore the Arizona Department of Education website so if you are looking for job opportunities you can find here job opportunities at schools or districts so remember Arizona Department of Education is the website for the entire Arizona but if you go to different schools or district this is where you need to look for it says Arizona Education Employment Board so click that and we are on the website of the Arizona Education Employment Board you can scroll down and you will see are you a job seeker or you are an employer because this is where the schools or the employers are posting their vacancies as well so let's say you are a superintendent or a principal you can click that because you wanted to post a position but if you are looking for a job or you are an applicant this is where you need to click so let's try so here once you click that job seekers it will lead you to this page search for a job by category so there the elementary teaching position if you are a foreign language teachers usually they need um, Spanish teacher here French and and all those are foreign language courses so if you're one of them you can click that foreign language and so on and so forth so there this is the elementary the middle school high school and the special education category so let us try let's say you are a librarian and you would like to apply for the library media specialist let me click this so these are the school or the areas that are in need of um, the librarian or the media specialist so from Cochise from Northwest Maricopa or Southwest Maricopa so let's try the Northwest Maricopa area and let's click the position librarian and this is um, in need by the Branson Lee Elementary School so let's click that and it will lead you to their to their school website so this this is their website I am going to click that so there you go that's the website of Brans Branson Lee Elementary School and uh, if you click the jobs tab it will show the one for 
the librarian that we just clicked from the original website from the Arizona Department of Education. So there are different categories here. So certified jobs, classified, and the administration jobs. So if you are applying for like principal, superintendent, assistant principal, this is where you need to click. And uh, classified jobs, um, these are like the rank and file, like technician, uh, the maintenance of uh, facilities and all. And these certified jobs is for the teachers. Let's click the certified jobs. And let's look for that. Um, so that's page one and th those are the other uh, positions that they're looking for a lot of teachers they they need teachers and if we go to page two you will find the librarian which we uh, found in the website of the Arizona so if you click that it will lead you to this page librarian or they call it literacy interventionist so it's like a, a multi position or multi uh, duties and responsibilities position so the details are here and when did they post the position so they posted it in um, October of 2020 and it's already January 2021 they haven't filled it the position is still vacant so and um, if you click that you can see the job descriptions but if you would like to submit your application you have to go here click here to apply online so once you click this it will lead you to a page where it will ask you to create your own username and password so if you are a new to the website you need to create your username and password and if you are a returning user already um, just enter the username and password that you created so make sure you write it and you don't forget it okay so click that I'm just showing you where it goes so this is the one I am uh, talking about so if you are a new user or a beginner in their website you need to register but if you are already existing or you came back so you have to just log in and use the username and password that you created uh, during the first time you access their website. So that is how you look for jobs, uh, especially for a teaching position. You need to go to their state department of education and it will lead you to several schools in the state. So in, in the case of Arizona, if you go to their website, there are hundreds of schools there where you can just click and uh, look for the position and select the positions that you are looking for. So um, I hope uh, that is very useful. Try exploring those websites and um, if you have questions, uh, let me know so we can um, we can uh, proceed to answering those and I will guide you as well okay so I also included some websites that you can use or explore because I, I just showed you the usajobs.gov the BIE and um, Arizona but there are other websites here some are schools hospitals and uh, even in California and New York so just explore and and read this for your guidance okay so there are things that you need to remember when you are looking for a job and reading their websites and try to um, you know decide which uh, place are you going to apply so my advice is let's say you are a science teacher you need to explore all the schools that are in need of a science teacher and submit your applications and the more the better more chances that you will be called for interview and there are things that you should remember so in every website that I gave you as an example 
there are hundreds of jobs so keep searching keep digging okay and the second one if you submit your application whether it is online through their uh, portal or through email you need to be very comprehensive you need to fill up all the details and uh, the, the detailed the more detailed the better especially with your qualifications with your experience with your education and your duties and responsibilities in your previous job because uh, there are several people people that are submitting for application also so if they see that yours is very comprehensive and you have more qualifications then there is a higher chances of uh, you will be called for the next step which is the interview and do not forget to write your email address because that is the point of contact they cannot call you through telephone because it's international and there is a time difference so the only way they can reach you quickly is through your email address so always indicate your email address as your contact information okay and another reminder is uh, the United States which I mentioned to you prioritize US citizen because that is their law but submit your applications anyway they will hire non-US citizen if they cannot find anyone who is qualified for the job that they're looking for especially if you believe that you meet the qualifications of the job and you are highly qualified so that is the secret do not get disappointed just keep on submitting your application and the more the more places you submit the higher chances that you will be called okay so i hope uh, you learn those uh, in, um, information that i provided in searching for the job and where to look for the job okay and uh, i have to end my presentation for now thank you so much for watching and for listening and um, watch out for my third series which is preparing your credentials and application documents so remember this is a series so you need to subscribe so you don't miss all the information i started with series one which is knowing the visa and this is series two where to look for a job and the next series which is number three is preparing for your credentials and application documents okay and if there are questions that you need to ask and you don't want to put them on the comment box uh, you feel free to email the teachers best friend um, dot com or the teachers best friend at gmail dot com okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time and to God be the glory bye for now